Aquarius, welcome. It's your heart spread read for the end of December 2021, a love, romance, and relationship reading. We're here this week. I'm looking at you and the one you just can't get out of your head, the one you can't get out of your mind, represented in the number two position as the other. Here we have the Hierophant. Perhaps a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus uh, energy there. But also it says to me, married. Um, and you are coming in yourself here. This is their energy in and around love and relationships. And here's you coming in with your energy in and around love and relationships. And it's hard not to see that as left out in the cold. Um, and probably because they chose a marriage. You see the hair found he's moving away from the reading like uh, back the way it came because this I like to show the energy uh, where they're coming from so you know they're coming from a marriage um, now the way you're reacting to him is with the four cups uh, it's very emotional but it's with disinterest you're deciding on disinterest and I gotta tell you this is like the most literal reading I've seen in a long time and thank you spirit uh, uh, we'll clarify here and get help because I always ask the name of light and love Spirit, if we can get some help, some depth to give this uh, as much meaning as possible for Aquarius here. Because I think this person, whoever it is that we can't get out of our head, whether they're uh, dead or unattainable in some way or are sleeping next to us, um, you know, that, of course, has great meaning. So I just think they're offering you money, you know, material security possibly goes with that, um, kind of everything. Um, and you're showing a disinterest here, and I got to be honest with you, um, <laughs> I've never seen such a clear. This is the overall energy is the lovers here. Um, so, and look at this lover, and this is the gilded terror royale. Um, she's swooning, and this soldier here appears to not even be real. It's like a vision, okay, or a dream. So it's kind of, I think you were swooning over this, something that um, was not real and probably still isn't real. Um, but as you, I think, were interacting with them, you came to the place where you realized, like, you're not going to give your soul, you know, to accommodate someone else's lifestyle. You know, what's the saying? You know, you're, you're not going to be an option. Um and showing kind of a dis emotional disinterest. I, I wouldn't, I don't know, you're obviously still thinking about them, um, so you still have the option to maybe interact with them, or maybe you are, okay? Um, but it, it appears to me like you're making an effort to detach yourself emotionally uh, from them here, which I gotta see is like, that's really good. Uh, and always keep in mind, with this heart spread, we're, we're reading the one that you just can't get out of your mind. It's not necessarily here. We're looking for uh, the one you're, you want to, or you're in a relationship with or you want to be in a relationship with. So I have to keep that in mind. And this position is where Spirit gives advice for you in regards to this relationship. And this is Spirit's advice for your person in terms of their relationship. So this is very clear. Uh, Spirit's telling them if you want to have a relationship with this Aquarius and uh, you need to, you know, let go of one of these cups, okay? Uh, that's, if the, I, I, I like to add depth to my readings, but they're very, this is very transparent, this reading, I think. Um, so as a message from Spirit, I think when that happens and when I get something like really clear coming in, like a really clear voice or... or really clear dream however it works right it kind of tells me it's something that really needs to be heard you know my higher self my unconscious work through my conscious is like you know we've got to get this out to them you know um and you know because think about it for just a minute and you have to realize that lucky whoever this person goes back to they're have, sharing this energy with you so they're they're not having fidelity to their own person and this kind of, the universe kind of slapping them a little bit and saying like, you know, um, have some fidelity, pick one. But now in terms of the magician, that's good point to Gemini energy, can also point to Mercury energy for you. Uh, a lot of Aquarius have Mercury's 
and Aquarius. Well, a lot of signs have Mercury in the same signs as the sun, but it's a really effective uh, Mercury. I've found as an astrologer. I've never once worked with someone that had the Aquarius uh, Mercury. It wasn't really sharp, you know, good, capable minds. But this is you being able to put it all together here. And honestly, it, <laughs> What I see with this reading is you just, probably you have it, if this is you, you haven't really let them have it. So really what I see, this is the advice from Spirit, and then this is the outcome, the Ace of Swords. So the advice from Spirit, remember the, this Eight of Wands is action, it's heading right towards this Three of Cups, okay? So, I mean, it's really a, a strong message. Um, not necessarily like a text message. Um, it's and it's really uh, in this case, you know. Usually the eight of wands is good, but it's going to be good because it's going to be you just really getting it off your chest, uh, exactly how you feel, which is what the ace uh, swords is. And I think about clarifying, but I don't think so. Look at lovers on the bottom, and that. So what you end up with now as the outcome of this heart spread, Aquarius is the truth is you stating the truth you know making a statement here making a stance uh you know cutting this could be like you saying it's over but you saying it's over in a very passionate way like not holding anything back okay so just make sure no one's hurt that's the main thing um and i think what this could just be is some kind of confirmation and also, what this Ace of Swords can be is closure, you know, um, for you. Say, you know, this is it. I'm, I'm not, I'm cutting this off, you know. Or it's an ultimatum, in which case then you could also say it's a gauntlet. It's an ultimatum. It's like, okay, either you let go of the marriage and commit to me and let go of this, whoever the fuck it is, or else. And, and I just got to say, personally, that's how I feel I should go down you know um, and I love how you have the dove here so prominent in the Gilded Royale deck um, with the ace uh, with the ace of swords it's uh, which can kind of have a harsh energy but I feel like even though you're gonna really let them have it with both barrels um, you're still what you're doing is about healing and you know bringing healing and I really think it's gonna be about cutting them off I mean, the ultimatum, ultimatum might work, you know. Um, and I think you've already told them, like, you know, I can't be bought. Now, whatever this is, it means being bought, throwing money at you somehow. And of course not. That would, yeah, I would be, you know, wouldn't blame me. If, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't even want to give them a second chance, if that's the kind of behavior. So let me know what you think of this, Aquarius. Um, and do hit a like. That helps a lot. Get the channel out which god knows i could help help with you help with and uh if you want comment please do i i love to hear what you have to say doing some astro readings too so be more involved with the sign so check out your rising reading uh for the end of the year trying to get them all out by the end of the year might have to go a few days into the the next year um, but it'll be a little bit bigger and take in a bigger picture and do subscribe if you haven't thank you guys